In this video, we are going to talk about the website and landing page builder. The page builder is where you can create a website as well as single landing pages and really is the best way to market yourself and share more about you and link to any forms or trips or anything else you would want to include. To get to the page builder, all we have to do is select the pages button at the top left. From here, it's taking us to the page builder. And for me, it's taking me to my homepage. Now, if you haven't gotten to this tool before, it's going to ask you to choose from four different themes. Go ahead, choose the theme that you like the most as you can always change this later on. But a website really is made up of multiple landing pages connected together through the use of buttons and links, while a landing page is just a single standalone page. So this right here is considered a single landing page. However, I've created multiple pages to connect back to this one so I can consider it a website. But to get into some of the big high-end overviews, let's go ahead and select the edit page button at the top right. From here, I recommend going through each of these tabs at the top, filling it out as best you can. Now we have getting started guide videos about each one of those, but high level overview, I definitely recommend going to your rearrange area first. This is where you can kind of see where all of these elements are in the order that you were given, and you can change them just by dragging and dropping it into the flow that you want. So if you want the about section to appear first, you can do that. Otherwise, maybe I don't like the look of it, so I'm going to move it back to where I need it to be. Once you are done going through these settings, make sure to select Save. Now, from here, the really big thinking behind all of this is if you see something you want to edit on this page, make sure to click on it. By clicking into it, the Edit menu is going to appear at the right-hand side. Now, you can either choose the three dots to completely delete it, or what I recommend is working your way from top to bottom if you're keeping the element and inputting the details. Just make sure to select save before moving on. If you've decided, you know what, I need to add a few more elements, all you have to do is select the new element button at the top right, and you're going to get a whole list of different elements that you can pull into your page. So let's say I want to add something in right here. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find our Calendly element. I'm just going to drag and drop it in until I see the green dotted outline before I release my mouse and now it's populated in. And again, I always recommend working your way from top to bottom to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to fill out some details and I'm going to paste in our training link before I select save. This way, anyone who is on my homepage is going to be able to see my availability and can schedule a call with me. Now, a couple of other things that we're going to take a look at is how we can actually include our trips that we've created in Travify and import them really easily onto this page. We can do so by clicking into an element. And I'm just using our large card gallery for this if you're interested. And I'm selecting the pencil icon for this card. Now I have a few details input as you can see, but make sure to select the import from Travify at the very bottom and select the trip option. From here, you're going to get a list of all of your current active trips, but you can also just search the name of the trip as well. Once you see the trip you want, just click the plus button. And as you can see the cover photo changes, as well as any pricing details if you include that on there in the title. I'm going to click save and we're going to continue moving our way along. The other type of integration we have is with our forms. So I'm going to go down to my forms area and let's say we want to add in an inquiry form right here. Again, I just want to click into what I need to edit, match up our photos, and I'm going to select the pencil icon for this card. And from here, we actually want to select this add button option. It's going to ask us, what do we want this button to do? For this one, I want it to go to one of my forms. So I'm selecting form. For the button text, I'm going to say fill out here. That way clients know what to click into. And last but not least, how do we connect the form? One, you can select import from Travify if you already have a form in your library you've created. Otherwise, if you just need to grab a quick template or create one, select new form. And for me, I'm going to just select the new trip inquiry template before clicking done and hitting save. 
Now, before you send this off to your clients or put this on your social media to advertise, you do want to make sure you preview this to make sure all the photos fit the way you want, as well as those buttons working. If I select View Trip, here is where we can see that itinerary. And those who are on your site can select Contact. And it's going to show them this little message where they can fill out their details. And this is a great way to get some warm leads. If we go down just a little bit further to our form, if they select the form, it's going to present a little pop-up window where they can fill it out. But like usual, you're always notified of any submissions and it creates that automatic contact, which makes it easy to follow up with them. But last but not least, once you're done creating your homepage, go ahead, continue along, select create new page. You can make as many pages as you want. And when you're ready to connect those pages together, all you have to do is go to your nav bar or really any element that allows you to create some buttons and links. And I'll say link and just make sure to select page as the type. And from there, you can choose from any of your pages to connect it to. But that is all there is to it. Of course, feel free to always chat us if you'd like to set up a personal one-on-one -on -one training session with us. Uh, but with that being said, thanks so much for watching this video and make sure to check out the rest of our Getting Started video guide.